everyone so today's video is going to be a huge summer clothing haul um, from the likes of like ASOS, Misguided, Urban Outfitters it's mainly going to be high street brands with a few premium brands thrown in there as well for good measure um, I am really excited to share everything with you and there is loads um, so I'm going to get cracking as soon as possible but I firstly just wanted to like touch on the fact that this video is sponsored by Life Mobile and I know that sometimes it can be a bit of a grey area a bit of an iffy subject when people talk about sponsored content but Life Mobile is one of the reasons that I can afford to spend money on clothes and share them with you guys which is one of my favourite videos to film and I think it's one of your favourite videos to watch and it's an amazing opportunity to be able to spend my money on clothing which is what I love to spend my money on and the only reason that I can do that is because I save money elsewhere in my life. I am buying my first home next year as I have gone on about for about 10 weeks now and I'm really excited but that does mean that I need to cut costs elsewhere and especially being self-employed I need to make sure that my monthly costs are way down and that is where Live Mobile come in. My mobile phone is something that I literally spend my entire life on. It's the main part of my job, I'm constantly on it on social media, writing posts, writing emails, all those kinds of things and so it's really important to me that those costs are super minimal. I pay £13.95 a month for a SIM only contract through them um, which means I'm not paying through the nose for like a £50 contract that I don't get what I need from and it's just super expensive and so yes I do have my phone separately but this is and this is just a sim only contract but it has literally saved me so much money I've literally just kept one of my old phones and upgraded my sim to life mobile and they're a subsidy through EE and so you still get amazing signal through most areas in the UK. You can also set a like smart cap buffer so that if you are having a particularly kind of like luxurious month online that you can set a, a certain limit so that you definitely don't go over that and that can be from like as little as one pound. So yeah, I have really low outgoing costs on a monthly basis, not just for my phone but for anything else that I have going out. I do try and make sure that it is a really minimal cost so I'm not spending too much before um, before the month's even started and that does mean that I can afford to spend money on clothes. Um, so yes, I'm really excited to share the today's haul with you. Oh, there's a blooming fly on my camera. Okay, I can't get the fly out so we're just going to have to hope that he doesn't buzz around and make too much noise for the camera. Ugh. Okay, so first up I'm going to share with you, what shall I go first, some ASOS bits. And the first thing that I picked up from them is a like holiday throw over for the beach and it's this little black number which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little tie around the middle so you can like have it tighter or looser and like the, the sleeves just hang really beautifully and then there's lots of slits going on down the bottom and um, so it's really light and airy and it, obviously it's completely sheer so it's going to go over bikinis like to and from the beach or around the pool um, and I just thought that that was really lovely. Next up and I think this might be my favourite bikini in the history of bikinis ever um, but it's this cheeky little number again from ASOS and it's just so colourful and beautiful the cups on the boobs are just a really really lovely shape they're like almost like square and cut out and then the back of the bikini has this awesome like lace-up detail so it's almost like a little bit like a corset and then the bottoms are exactly the same and they are high-waisted and they're just so freaking groovy like I literally love them that like animal print multicoloured animal print but I absolutely love these I think they're glorious I'm so excited to wear them on holiday and then I also picked up a white bikini and I do love a good white bikini because it just looks nice when you've got a tan doesn't it um, and this is a Vera Moda one from the ASOS site and it's literally just like plain white bottoms and then it's this like off the shoulder strap detail bandeau top and I just thought that they were really cute. I just really like them. And it's like quite thick, sturdy material, so it's not flimsy. And then I also picked up this slinky little number, which is incredibly hard to show you just from holding it like on camera. It's much better on, but it's a maxi dress with a lace underbody top. Um, and it's got, it's just really slinky 
gorgeous fabric that just hangs really really beautifully and yeah this little lace top that goes underneath is just really beautiful and they just like layer over the top really nicely over one another um, and yeah this has slips down the bottom and it just is lovely a really beautiful dress to take on holiday with you because it's really nice for evening wear it's not too over the top but it is definitely more on the sexy side and yeah love this and then the last thing that I picked up from ASOS was a very big treat to me from me to me it is a self-portrait dress and um, now I didn't know that ASOS sold self-portrait but they do and it's dangerous so I hope that you guys don't fall in love with this dress as much as I have and want it as well because it is quite pricey um but it's just so beautiful like it's very very girly for me it's got these like strap detail and then these little bell sleeves that hang off like cold shoulder um tops normally would and then it's just absolutely gorgeous it's got bits of fabric that hang down it's very swishy it's just basically all of the good things a dress can be and i bought this for my goddaughter's christening so i have recently become a godmummy which i'm really excited about and i wanted a dress that was pretty because let's face it i'm quite a morbid dresser i don't really have that many kind of like pretty things um, and this is like definitely an occasion wear dress and i don't have many of those all and i love the shade of it with my hair as well so yes treated myself to that from asos next up i'm going to do some bits from misguided so i picked up a quite slinky um sexy dress and again i think that this will be mainly for kind of like holidays and stuff although it is long sleeved so maybe just for like a really nice dinner out somewhere um and it's this little number which i just absolutely love 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 um, and it's yeah a long sleeved but then it has like this super open chest that kind of almost looks like it knots over where the waist is and then it just like floats down um, and I thought that I'd probably need some tip tape for this because I'd have like fabric running about everywhere but it literally just sits really beautifully like in a really nice open way without showing any boob at all really obviously there's like where your chest is and there's cleavage and stuff but it's not bad at all and yeah absolutely I just think it's so gorgeous and it's like a silky material that like just hangs really beautifully and sexily so yeah i got that um i also picked up another top which is quite not dissimilar actually to the dress it's like this open chested long sleeve top with open sleeves which i thought was really cool and then a wrap detail around the front so you like tie that up around your waist I like that a lot and then the last thing i picked up from misguided was a blouse this is kind of like a sheer white oversized blouse which i really liked and it's kind of like that crepe crepe what's that what's that word where it's kind of like crinkled material already so it's not one of these shirts that really desperately needs to be ironed which i'm quite on board with and happy with um but i have quite taken to wearing shirts like undone with a top underneath and like tied in a bow on the front and so that's what I bought this shirt to do with and um, I just think it's really nice and it's really lightweight fabric as well so good for summer. I also picked up a few pairs of heels from a shop called Forth and Reckless which are a shoe shop online. Picked up these little black shoes which I just thought were a nice addition to my summer wardrobe because they're not straying too far away from boots which is what I love to wear and um, but you've got an open back and a peep toe and a really nice heel so I just thought that these would be really nice occasion wear heels um to take on holiday that won't be too hot to wear so really love those and i also picked up and these were to go with my self-portrait dress for the christening these beautiful little pink velvet style mules which i just love they're so comfy i've always kind of steered away from mules before because i thought that my feet would like slip in and out of them but but they just don't at all they're really sturdy you've got a really good amount of fabric covering the feet so they're not slipping about a really nice heel and i just thought that the color was really lovely and again these will be perfect for taking on holiday so yeah i just really like those so one of my favorite london brands is a brand called miss patina and they do really beautiful vintage inspired clothing and i picked up this beautiful blouse from their summer range um look how gorgeous that is so it's got like a little bow detail 
that goes across the front of the chest and sits across the skin really lovely and then the blouse kind of like comes underneath it on the neckline and then beautiful little bell sleeves with slits down the side as well and then it's just really like floaty and lovely and again I did really love it how it kind of like goes with my hair colour so who knew that me having orange hair would bring out me wearing colour I just didn't think I would ever wear that much colour but there's quite a lot well, there's not a lot, but there's a bit of colour in there, so, you know. Um, but next up, something that isn't at all colourful is from a brand called We Are Cow, who are a vintage rework shop in the UK, who are incredible. I just love them. They're now kind of like stocked as concessions in Topshop and stuff as well, so you can get your hands on them in more places than just online and in their own stores. But they have reworked a lot of Ralph Lauren shirts, which I'm super excited about. And one of them is this top, a high neck, um, what's the word, like an elasticated neck that kind of like sits around your neck and then really wide set crop top with open sleeves because obviously it is a rework from a man's shirt. You've got the little Ralph Lauren logo there and a really gorgeous seam that runs down the front and it just fits so lovely and I really love the high neck. I love the like billowing armpits. I just think it's really cool. And then also from We Are Cow is this amazing jumpsuit which I just absolutely love it's like got buttons down like huge big buttons down the front of it and like a v-neck front and then it's got this gorgeous back um that like crisscrosses across your back which just looks gorgeous and then it has these massive bell bottoms that come and sit like literally like halfway down your calf and I love them and the thing with cow vintage is that you can't buy exactly the same items that I have bought today but you can definitely go on there and find some items that are definitely your style and that you think would really suit you and that's the beauty about vintage clothing is that it is one off it is original no one else is going to have it and I love that um, and I think that this is really gorgeous uh, again an amazing piece to have for summer holidays and then the last thing I picked up from We Are Cow was a uh, Ralph Lauren shirt again and this time it's like a proper shirt and it's like an off beigey yellowy colour which I really love but it's the same kind of style as the other one it's just this one you've got a collar and I really love that and then the last shop that I went to was Urban Outfitter okay so first up I picked up some black denim shorts in the sale um, because the last shorts that I wore I wore in Croatia and I didn't try them on before I went away and so I, I didn't realize that they were proper proper hot pants and my bum was base well was entirely out which was not a good look at all um, and so yes I wanted to pick up some more shirt um, shorts and these were in the sale from I think it was from their BDG range I think or no it was from their urban renewal range so these are old school Levi jeans that have just been cut into shorts um, and I really like them I just thought they were really cute and um, they were in the sale and they were £18 reduced from 36 which was a bit of a bargain. Another thing that I picked up from there that again isn't really for summer but was just so gorgeous and I love the colour and I thought it would be the perfect thing to have for flying and also for kind of like cooler summer nights was this knitted pale pink jumper. It's like a crop jumper with a really oversized fit and yeah I just absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it and it's so comfy so thick and lovely um and yeah just absolutely love that and then I also picked up from Urban Outfitters this time I don't think it's a We Are Cow um concession um but somebody else is obviously doing a similar thing and it's a Ralph Lauren shirt dress which I love it's got these cap sleeves and then like just this beautiful purple pinstripe which I absolutely love I'm so excited to take this on holiday and wear it I just think it's really really cool and yeah I was a little bit worried that it would look a little bit like a night dress and not look cool or expensive but I really really like it and it's got a cute little like pocket in the front of it and I just think it's super cool and really really a lovely piece to have for summer and I have been wearing like it loose but also with like a little waist belt around my waist to kind of like hoist it in a little bit and give it a bit more definition if I feel like it um, um, and then I also picked up um, just a cold shoulder black like floaty top which I just thought would be really nice to have um, just for like kind of day wear really and it's good because 
it um it stops you getting like awful strap marks obviously you want to try and avoid getting strap marks halfway across your arm as well but um it can kind of like help to even out any strap marks if you have got them um just because it sits really nicely like across your shoulders and it's so soft and floaty like it's such an airy fabric it's going to feel really nice on your skin in hot and humid weather and then the very last thing that i picked up and one of my favorite pieces is this little mini skirt from urban outfitters it's a really like tough structured denim with pocket details to the front and then a nice big chunky zip to the back and it's kind of like an a-line mini skirt so it sits really lovely on the hips and then like kind of kicks out just a little bit and this is just really really flattering and a really lovely shade and um, and I do find that like going a little bit lighter with denim sh skirts and shorts can sometimes be a little bit risky but this is enough on like a colourful palette and soft palette to make it a wearable look kind of like all year round and not just for literally when you're on holiday because that's the worst isn't it when you have to buy things that literally just look like you could only wear them when you're on holiday and not when you get home but I think that this is a pretty transitional piece that I could wear pretty much all year round and I think that is everything guys I've definitely got very very spendy but I do have a lot of pieces to wear for my holiday which I'm really excited about and I hope that you found some brands in there that maybe you didn't know about before that you can go and explore a little bit more like the fourth and reckless and we are cow I'm sure you've heard about the other high street brands that I mentioned um, but yes I really hope that you enjoyed it guys please give it the thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all soon thanks for watching guys bye